Hi everyone, today I was requested to do a um, romantic look today. Um, I wanted to give a little shout out to Lucy and Ellen, and um, so yeah. So I'm gonna start off with a very, very pretty pink. And it's kind of like a bit of a coral, coralish pink. And it's this one right here. This is from my Sephora palette. I don't know if you can see, it's that one right there. And you just want to apply this all over your eyelid with an eyeshadow brush. And don't go on the eyelid, just go on the crease. Just, well, go halfway in. but I'm very quiet today. I'm just not in the mood of talking, so I have to excuse the talking for today. See, it's very pretty. Now, take um, a white, which is this one right here. Tap any excess off. And just use it. You're gonna. We're gonna put it on. On both places. We're gonna put it on the eyebrow bone and on the eyelid. So. You want to go all the way in, just fill in the whole area, like that. Mm, put a little bit more pink. There I go, just what I wanted. Right there. So that's what it should look like. Now we're gonna skip foundation, even though that was the first thing I should have said, but we're gonna put foundation after, so we don't, you know, mess up everything. All right. Now we're gonna take some eyeliner. And this one's by Ramel. It's in Black Magic, so it's my usual, it's my favorite eyeliner. It's actually not department store, but sometimes I find that, that just the drugstore products are best, so. You wanna make this line very subtle as you go along. Oops. I have to bend down for this one since I can't like, see? But I'll show you as soon as I finish the Now I never pull my, my eye down because that causes premature um, wrinkling, so don't do that. But whatever you're comfortable with, I mean everyone's different. Look how pretty that looks. And then you want to go, you just don't want to go on your lower lash line because we're going to put another color on, so just use the upper lash line. So take the thinnest brush that you have. I use an eyeliner brush, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna have to buy one. So just use that brown over there. It's a very chocolate kind of brown. Not the dark one, but this one right there. 
Now, I only use a little bit of this stuff because this stuff is dark. No matter how much I put on, it's always dark. So just line your lower lash line. Sometimes eyeshadow can be the best if you want to line your eyes because it's actually more natural than actual eyeliner. Now if you're using pigment, that's even better, but make sure you just use a little bit as you go along because then there's no going back and then You'll just have to do everything all over again. That's why I don't like to put on foundation first, but sometimes I have to. So. so that's what should the first part should look like. And then when you go with the brown, you want to meet up with the actual pink just a little bit. Just very subtly, because this is very pretty. See how it blends with the pink and then the brown? That's how it should look. Just a little bit though, not a whole bunch. So there it looks. Now, you wanna get Okay, now you want to get the foundation. We're not done yet, but we're just going to do this part since we're done with the eyes and I just didn't want to mess it up or anything like that. Now I don't want to, for this look, don't apply it all over your face, just put it under your eyes. I'm not using concealer, so I'm just using foundation just around my eye area, not, not anywhere else that's, you know, heavy. Just want to kind of cover any blemishes or anything like that. So that's what it should look like. Look how pretty that looks. Now, to redefine your brows, we'll use anything that matches your hair tone. today but don't take offense that way I'm just very quiet this morning I'm kind of tired okay now I forgot my eyelash curler so I'm just gonna have to just go straight on to go with mascara so just use your favorite black mascara and you just want to tip your head back. You want to give the wand a wiggle from root to tip. And why I always say tip your head back is because it will catch the, the wand will catch the skin and then it will not be fun when you may, if you make a mess because then you're gonna start everything all over again. And then when you do your lower lashes, you want to look down. So up for the upper and down for the, for the lower. Alright, we're almost done. Just put on some blush. 
Lipstick and lip gloss and we're done. <laughs> Take any old coral, you know, blush. It doesn't matter what kind of color blush you use, as long as it's like in the pink, pink range. So then smile. And then, lipstick. So, we're gonna take a pink one. And this one is by Lancome, and this is in Love It. Yeah, Love It. This lipstick is not quite my color, but whatever. Then you just wanna put on some gloss. So I'm using ugh, my Lancome Juicy Tubes, and this one is in Moulin Rose. Now I like this one because it has a nice smell and it has a sweet, you know, sugary flavor to it. Go for that extra sheen. <laughs> And one more thing, we're just gonna go for a highlighter because this is what really does it all, is the highlighter. Now, take a cream highlighter and put it on the bridge of your nose because if you put this on the bridge of your nose, it brightens up your complexion. And then top of the cheekbones. And then on your Cupid's bow. But since I messed up on the lips, I really wasn't supposed to put lip gloss, but if you really want it to look extra full, you can't put lip gloss, but you want if you want your lips to look extra full, you can put highlighter on just over here on the bottom. Center. So that's what it looks like. And there you have it. My hair back. A really pretty romantic look, which was requested. And um, I really hope you enjoyed. And I'm really loving the things. That my inbox has been flowing in with um, requests and things like that, but I haven't, I can't get to them all because I'm very busy sometimes during the summer. Now I'm getting busy. And I'm writing a book for, about makeup, so I'm thinking of getting it for a, from like a publisher to see if I can get it published because I'm writing a makeup book. This is what it looks like. It's just a draft. It's nothing fancy now, but this is what it looks like. So something like Sexy Fall is like what you'll need and the steps to do it. And then, you know, it goes on to a few different books. I've been doing that for the past few days to keep myself occupied. So that's what it looks like. So I just thought I'd do that and see if I can type it up, get it all fancied, and then see if I can get it published, and then I'll tell you guys if I do. So I'm hoping for that as an opportunity. Um, so that's it, and I hope you like the look. Bye.